Hi, this is Quint Domsky from MakeitMentor.ca. Let's start with a foundation. I like to rub it in between my fingers first to warm it up. It makes blending a little easier as well. Now the foundation I'm using is actually a BB cream. It's a little bit lighter than a foundation and it spreads a little bit better. Now I apply it all over the whole face, into the hairline, or a little over the eyelids, nose, lips, well not the lips themselves, but the lip area, down to the jawline, under the eyes, and chin. Once you have it mostly blended, finish it off by patting. This blends in all the little bits that you can't really see and gives it more of a natural finish. Now a concealer for people who don't know what it is, it has more coverage than a foundation, so you don't really want to apply it to your whole face. Thicker than a foundation, it's more opaque, has more pigment, gives more coverage for areas like dark circles, redness, and pimples. You can apply it all the way around the eye, top and bottom, but it tends to be a little bit heavier. And to be more natural, we need to just cover what needs covering and that only. Now I apply it with a brush and then I finish the blending with my fingertips. Start in the area that the, needs the most coverage, like the inner corner of the eye. I pat with my finger and the outside corner and again, patting with my finger to blend it in. Now here I'm, I'm brightening up shadows under the lip, on the sides of the lip. It just kind of gets rid of the, the discoloration that we get that just brings the lips down and makes creates more shadow than there is. Now a little on the side of the nose, that's where we tend to get a little red and discolored. This is great, especially if you have a cold. And remember, it's easier to add than to take away. And done. Now for powder, take your brush, dip it into your powder, whether loose or pressed. Tap the end of the brush so the powder settles inside the bristles. I like to use a kabuki brush myself as it's more dense. And you'll notice that I'm rolling the brush over the face. Now I'm paying special attention to the areas that have more texture, like areas that tend to separate foundation easier, like under the eyes, um, around the nose, around the mouth, any folds or, or creases. Gentle around the eyes, you don't want to poke yourself. And there we go, we're done. This is the before and the after. This is Clint Domsky from MakeupMentor.ca. Thanks for watching, and remember, beauty is as beauty does.